Hey guys, D Mike here for the final episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe post game content. It's been a crazy journey through this game. I actually thought it was going to take me longer to finish it than it has, but we're here. And this is going to be a pretty long episode. I'm just going to go ahead and preface that. We're going to do all of the four remaining episode assignment things here, missions, whatever you want to call them. Now, just going to go ahead and clean sweep it because. The following Tuesday, after you see this episode, we're going to be doing a brand new game. And it's a brand new game that's going to be brand new. So, that's a first for the channel. And we'll see how it goes. So, day seven, looking for Louie. I may have been too hard on Louie last night about the, his excessive appetite. Letting my emotions run away with me was both wrong as a pilot and as his mentor. Not that he's blameless here, of course, but it's my duty now to go find him, wherever he's run off to. Once that's taken care of, I have some soul searching to do about my temper. Wow. Taking some ownership. Captain Olimar. What a complete... ...hocutation. Alright, here we go. So this is going to take 14 minutes. I don't know how long these are going to take me. Hopefully not. The full... ...stock of time. Just because... ...that would be horrific. And I, um, yeah, I, I'm not trying to have these episodes take an exceptionally long amount of time, but this one is going to probably be, it may be the longest one that resides on this channel for a while. And that's not super by design. I kind of misjudged a little bit the amount of time it would take me to do stuff. But anyway. If you guys have been enjoying Pikmin 3 and Mario Galaxy and Super Nintendo Sundays and Link's Awakening, all that stuff. If you've been enjoying that, please help me out by liking the videos, watching them as much as you can, and you know, following along. It's been a pleasure to make all this content for you guys. So I appreciate everybody being there in the meantime to follow along the series and be dutiful watchers. I don't know what this wants me to do here. I'm just going for the bare minimum of all of these, by the way. I know that this is just kind of like the... Okay, I don't know... What am I doing here? I really like this music, by the way. I don't think throwing the Pikmin up here does anything. No. I don't have a real... I mean, there's bomb rocks up there and I need them. I said the seesaw block might do something, but I don't know where the other half of it is. We've dealt with these kind of pressure plate things in the past. And I don't think I have enough Pikmin to really do... to do a good chunk with the whip tongue bull warb over there. So this is fun. This is very well-designed gameplay, and I'm having a great time. Oh. Oh, we do have Louie. I thought it was just going to be a situation where we had to go find him. <laughs> and the first thing he says is he's hungry. Oh, Lewis, so predictable. But thankfully, we do have a the ability to split up. So this is not a situation where Louis actually is gone. We're just tasked with with reconnecting the two intrepid explorers, which is fine. Handled that just fine so far. He's enjoying the solitude. I don't know what that says about his relationship with Captain Olimar then. Is it really that bad? Oh man, these whip tongue bull are gross. Yeah. Getting their nasty slurpy tongues everywhere. We don't like that. Oh, I see. So this is the other half of that that block, by the way. If that makes sense. I don't know if I can We'll send some reds in there. So, go ahead and weigh this down. Oh, we didn't have Captain Olimar on the pressure plate. I thought we did. So we will call our red Pikmin off. We'll put Captain Olimar and the yellows on here. This is probably like, I probably need to be a lot quicker at this, but I'm doing a horrible job. Okay. I don't think we can use all of our Pikmin, so we'll have to throw them up here for now. This way, two reds should do the trick to get Captain Olimar top of the crop here. Yes. 
Okay, so we can use our... I can't believe I raised my voice like that. This episode is all about self-reflection and apologizing. Lessons to live by, everybody. Okay, so there's two bomb... three bomb rocks in there. Makes me think of all the moments in this game where I have definitely not accidentally killed my entire squad by using bomb rocks. That's never happened. Now, my question here is, there was a, a reinforced wall that could only be blown up with bomb rocks. However, I think that that might be the duty, <laughs> duty of the Pikmin on the other side. Because I don't think that this reinforced wall exists over here. I think that these might just be to be used for the, the whip tongue bull warbs. So, makes it easier on us. Got him! <laughs> That's really satisfying for some reason. Just to, because these are kind of tough enemies and just to be able to nuke them like that. Done. And it, it doesn't look like the bomb rocks actually like, unless those were already there, you know, it appears like Maybe these bomb rocks were there, I don't know, but we'll hold on to them for now, as we do. And we'll switch back to Almar. I believe that we've got, yes, our yellow, oh, there's four, so this should be plenty to take out the reinforced wall in our end. And there was a yellow that got stuck down here. So I don't really know how much of this mission is going to be, did I have a yellow stuck? Yeah. How much of this mission is going to be, like, really struggling to... to reconnect the two explorers. And is it the game throwing you a bone by not... Is it the game throwing you a bone by having the Whip Tongue Bull Borb just programmed to just kind of flail there and just conveniently wait in the moment? I like that. Oh! A little bit of a chain reaction. We don't have enough Pikmin to even really go for the... To kill it, so that's not really useful. But we can kill these little bull warps, which is nice. The one and done. Oh, there's... Okay, there we go. Alright, so this is good. We need to propagate some yellows. I don't know if there's gonna be... Looks like there's a uh, an electric fence around the way, which is nice. Also, I don't know if this music track has ever been featured in the game before, but I like it. It's kind of whimsical. Very fun. Speaking of Whimsical, the new game that I'm going to be playing starting the next episode after this one is Whimsical. And, uh, all about balls. So if you guys are into that. Spoilers. Okay. <laughs> I just love how th this is supposed to be, like, sort of reflective, I guess. Like, Olimar having all the introspection about his fighting with Louie and how sad he is and all that stuff. Oh, Lamar, you got such a big heart, I guess. Does it count as having a big heart if you don't the first time around? Maybe it does. Maybe it just shows that you have that you're capable of growth. Yeah, maybe that's it. We'll say that so that way we can sleep at night. Alright, and there's bomb rocks here, which is nice. Which I thought the bomb rocks that we gained like, I, I'm assuming these were always there and like you could just scoop them up and use them against the the whip tongue bull borbs, but maybe not. Oh, you do need them. So we'll have to use the three here. Not murder our Pikmin in the process. And one more ought to do it. We'll switch to Captain Homer. Okay. And I don't know where I am, because my sense of direction is still relentlessly poor. But we do have a quite the crop of yellows now. So let Captain Omar pluck them and... See, I might want to go grab the reds, because we're right here. I'm probably going to be using this entire time limit just to... get to the bottom of things, and I'm assuming that the goal here literally is just to sync up. I don't know if there's anything else, because it just said find Louie. So... my guess is that that's okay. Just finding Louie. And I don't know if there's more bomb rocks here. It just really seems like the game wants me to blow stuff up. I mean, I'm not complaining about that. I mean, the 4th of July is one of my favorite, favorite holidays. So when in doubt, blow stuff up. I mean, don't actually do that. 
Disclaimer, d -Mike Industries does not endorse blowing things up. Especially private property. Oh, oh, it's the, we got crabs. Nope. Don't you do it. Come back here. Get him. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, and he had a bomb rock too. That's weird. I'm not entirely sure where all these bomb rocks are coming from, but this level is absolutely full of them. Where am I picking at? Oh. They're just hanging out. They're like, hey, ready to blow stuff up at your command? D Mike loves the uh the willingness to Nope. Oh, that's rude. Oh, they're so sad. Oh yeah, you're dead now. Alright. Nope, nope. Nope. I hate these things so much. Where's my rock Pikmin when I need them? But they're no match for my red Pikmin, who are in Enjoyable, as we say en Francais. Alright, they're your stupid rock. I got an even better rock for it. No, no, no. Pikmin, no. You're not doing what I need you to do. Alright, we do have bomb rocks here, but we needed a third one. No, we have three. Okay, this uh, Pikmin 3 Let's Play brought to you by the inability to count. Oh, I see. So the longer you take it, just counts down the potential quote-unquote prize you would have. I don't know how much of this actually, like, we need to blow up. It looks like there's another reinforced wall over there, so we're not quite done yet. We do need some more bomb rocks. And there's the nasty lip old borb over here. The big one, I can see it. Oh, it's so gross. We will kill its babies first. That'll make me feel so much better. Okay. So we're doing okay. Oh, there's two of them. Ugh, I don't like this. There's bomb rocks over there, though. Oh, they're so gross. Ooh, look at them. Ooh, I hate their faces. I don't know how far down we can aggro them. It looks like that's just about it. I need them to turn around. There we go. Show me a buns, and we will take you from behind, baby. Done. Okay. Oh, and there's those stupid, the stupid pincer bugs. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, you, ooh, you done did it. Oh, you have done did it now. Stop eating my Pikmin. Oh, you're a burglar of turds. Stop it. Nope. I got too many Pikmin for you to survive this one, bud. Yeah, that's right. I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna worry about your remains. All that remains now is me being epic. Okay, so we'll get that bomb rock. There's another one here. Stupid sheer grub thing. No, don't you do it? No. I don't think so. I don't think so. How about that? How about how about how about you catch that? Okay. So that was two bomb rocks. We're still missing one. I think I need a third to. Fully engage in blowing up the wall unless there's one on the other side. Alright, so we're getting very close to the time limit here. I think this means oh there's Captain Elmar on the other side. And we do have the we have one bomb rock left, so we should be able to finish the mission with our one yellow bomb rock. Oh, that looks like did I miss? We're not done yet. Is there a bomb? Oh, there are bomb rocks in here, hopefully. We got a minute and a half to finish this intense puzzle. Can we do it? I don't mind this mission in particular. Like, this one's okay. I think some of the... Yeah, that's good. All right, guys, that's enough call today. I think some of the missions where you have to, like, find the treasures and whatnot, they're okay, but I didn't love them in particular. All right, guys, please hurry. Yeah, great. Grab just one, literally one. Unamas. All right, so we are. I did not need to take this long, but I was not sure what I was doing. So we found Louie, and we win. Great success. We set a new horrible record. Good job, us. Well deserved. Oh, Lieutenant. Okay, I see how it is. I thought he was Captain Olimar, unless he's referring to Louis. 
But Louis wasn't the one doing anything. Like, Captain Olimar did everything. I don't know. That wasn't too bad, but it took a long time, so... Oh boy. And buckle up for a long episode, everybody. When I finally found Louis, he claimed to be sorry for what he did, but I'll keep a close eye on him all the same. He went missing after the Copites rescued him too, and turned out to have made off with all their food. For all that, this plan is dangerous enough that it's good to have a partner around. Hopefully I can find enough food to keep him in line, Captain Olimar. I mean, you know what they say. Okay, everybody, let's go ahead and tackle day eight. Go ahead and give this another go and see if we can get things going. We're going to be collecting some fruit. The big fruit carnival. There is quite a bit of delicious treats to gain here, so we're going to move quickly and hope for the best. So... Uh, we're going to be very mindful of the winged Pikmin that we have, because they are at a premium here. So we're going to be very careful. And we'll throw Louie to sh assert dominance. Alright. So, yeah, you have to, you just have to kind of, you gotta, you gotta move quick here. And there's not, like, a ton of fruit, but there is a, some of the fruit that's a little bit tougher to get is worth more. So you just have to be mindful of that. Build up a good arsenal of winged Pikmin early. Don't you eat our Pikmin, you little jerk. That's the thing that sucks about winged Pikmin. I love them, they're probably my favorite type, but they're just, their fighting abilities just ain't there. If you know what I'm saying. I'm never gonna learn. I've made 28 episodes of this show so far. And I'm still hitting the wrong button, because I am a professional. Alright. So one of the things that's kind of tough about the post-game content is that these little bridge-making things... I'm not sure what you'd call them exactly, they kind of look like uh, tiki torches almost. Those are, um... Those are not, uh, in the regular game. Like, I, I don't remember them being there. So it's a little tough when... It's a dynamic that I'm not familiar with, so I forget that that's how you, how you, you know, build structures and move around and etc. So we've got a pretty good, pretty good amount of wing Pikmin. Not enough to carry these things all the way. And we'll have to build this kind of pathing on both sides. So once these three winged Pikmin are done, they will be able to put the last of the straw down, and that will give us safe passage to the other side, which is very noise. And we'll keep moving. And once you go, you just gotta commit. That's it. Yeah, we did pass, thank you. C's get degrees, Captain Olimar. And we're gonna want to complete the similar structure on the other side to give us safe harbor. And that is over here, I believe. We'll kill this Bulborb, because he's a jerk, and I hate him. That Bulborb killed my family. Okay. So that's done and done. And the... Oh, no, they're, they're on the other side. But in the meantime, we will have some of our Pikmin carry this... Coquat, Lumquat, Loquat, Aquatic, Life Aquatic, I don't know. I have no idea what it's called. And the other pieces of the, I guess, ledge creation, I mean, it's not really a bridge exactly, are there. So we will have our Pikmin do that. We can't really do much until they do that. They're going to build that up for us. We have to kill this giant bull borp, which does have a fruit attached to it on the inside, as you might have guessed. The larger enemies typically do. So you just have to take out the larger enemies. I mean, some, I mean, the largest enemies will have, almost always will have fruit. So that's convenient. Not guaranteed, but we're gonna want to have all of our Pikmin though, because killing a giant bull borb does take 
quite an effort. It takes a village to kill a giant bull board. So we'll go ahead and charge our Pikmin and hopefully they can take it out for us. Oh, almost. All right, whistle back. Oh, well, there's one. That's one of the things that's kind of annoying about this is the uh, effectiveness of charging, it varies. And with winged Pikmin, they're just, it's a bit of a wild card. You aren't gonna always be sure what you're gonna get. But it's good to use the giant bull warps to propagate your Pikmin. We'll send Louie back. We'll need more winged Pikmin, obviously, because this gate has to be raised to progress. There's unfortunately not much you can do until you do that, because you can't get around this side, it's blocked off. So we will wait. We're making some pretty decent progress so far. Go ahead and pluck all the Pikmin we were missing. Oh, there's actually a, a five pot over there that I forgot. It's great, because time is not of the essence, I guess. Okay, so we'll just keep hammering away. There's not... The fruit in this level aren't really, like, hidden or anything like that. It's just a matter of going and getting them. Which they are going to be held up behind some enemies that are, like, mini-boss level. You know, I wouldn't call, like, large Bulborbs mini-bosses, but there is actually a, uh... There's a mini-boss caliber enemy in this world that we have to take out in order to get ourselves a uh, one of the harder to obtain fruits so we will need that okay it's so strange though when they list the what's on the field because there are Pikmin that are just hanging out but you won't know what those are until after you you know do some work so you can't just, they don't just give them to you, you have to like, you know, sometimes you pluck them because they're already in the ground, which I think is a very strange dynamic that they just kind of hand them to you like this. But I guess that kind of speeds up the process a tiny bit? I don't know. I'm just a complaining Carl over here. Alright, so we got a little baby Cromad, which is going to be made a quick work of by our Pikmin if we can whistle them back. Oh boy, it's two. Oh boy, oh boy. And we're running. I make you feel like a tour guide. And we're moving. Follow the umbrella. Don't fall behind everybody because you could be lost forever. All right, so we'll let the... Oh, and we're running right into it. Great. We have to save it. Save it. Come on, Pikmin. Yes. Okay. So there is a... I think each of these guys will give us a fruit. <laughs> nice planet. Lots of treasure. So Louis is only concerned about food and treasure. I mean, he should be the captain. He seems like he's the one that, he's got his eyes really focused on the price here when it comes to just like possessions and stuff. All right, so we'll carry back the baby cromads and the strawberry. I love strawberries, strawberries are great. It's probably, it's definitely top five for it. E, Z, P, Z. Strawberries are great, pineapples are great. There's no pineapple in this game though, which is kind of unfortunate. I don't know what's in here. I don't know if this is a fruit or if this is some sort of a spray, maybe. Some delicacy. Oh, it's a plum. Okay, great. So if the wing Pikmin could get their cute little buns out of there. Okay, great. So we're making some pretty good progress. We might be able to finish this mission ahead of schedule. Now, I would not bank on that because I'm horrible at this game, but just maybe. Ooh, spicy spray, nectar, okay, this could help. All right, so we're doing okay. We're gonna wanna head back to base though and collect all of our Pikmin. We don't really have a whole lot left to do. There's a final hurrah that we can do in the, um, in the area where we lifted the gate. So we'll need actually probably all of our Pikmin because we're gonna want some, a good amount of firepower. The downside, like I said, and I'll say it all, every time because it's obvious, but, uh, and I love being obvious. Captain Alamar, Captain Obvious. And winged Pikmin just don't have the oomph. They don't have the oomph, so it makes it a little tough. But that's okay. So we will lift the gate. And we'll come back on the other side of it. And we will, Snatch up our 
Winged Pikmin. We will snatch up our winged Pikmin. Thank you, game. And go in the grate. We're going to want full strength squad here for a moment. So we have a nice amount of winged Pikmin. And we have two giant bull borbs and two baby bull borbs in here. One of which probably has a treasure. They don't always give you treasures, but most of the time they do. So we'll take the little guys out first to reduce the danger involved. And then we'll whistle back quick to not alert the big ones. So this should be a nice amount of Pikmin to take out a giant bull borb. Yes, okay. And for our efforts, we get a Benin. All right, so we will take care of that in a moment. I'm actually still gonna want the full squad because there's another one over here that is taking a nap. It's about to take its final snooze. All right, so that was easy. And you get a spicy spray, so they don't always give you fruit, but whatever. Whoa, I like that. Okay. And as you can see here in a moment, we have a very open area that, you know, may or may not have a nasty a bugger in it. So we do. We have a bug-eyed cromat here. And the winged pikmin are having a lot of trouble with taking its eyes out. Get its eyes. All right, so we can have our winged Pikmin get up there, charge his belly, attacking his tail mainly, that's not useful. Okay, so we'll whistle everybody back. It's nice that you actually, actually know how to, you know, fight the things because previously when I was playing this game, I didn't. And I'm just, you know, kind of gambling and hoping that things will work in my favor and they don't usually do that. It's almost like you're supposed to play the game the way the game intends you to do it. Okay, so there's a ton of fruit right here, and this should be enough to win us the day. The amount of fruit that you need to essentially... Are they building the bridge without me telling them to? Um, the amount of fruit that you need to win the day is basically like right here. All of it is here. So build some bridges, split up and, you know, carry some stuff. And you have winged Pikmin, you've got blue Pikmin, but make sure you don't mix and match because the game really doesn't like it when you uh, when you try to do that. You can only you can't pair blues and pinks together, unfortunately. It's either one or the other. Okay, so now that we've got winged Pikmin, we should be able to carry this peach. What I like now is I don't have to be subversive and pretend like I don't know what the fruits are. That's what I'm gonna keep telling myself. That's what the bit was, is that I, I just didn't know. So we got a delicious cantaloupe. Ooh, I don't have enough Pikmin for this. Great. I would like my Pikmin, Pikmin, Pikmin to come back, but thankfully we have a direct link to the this ship here. So we can go right back. We can go grab the banana. Banana and peach is actually really good. It's a good combo. I had a uh, banana peach. Cider, I think, recently? I don't know if it counts as that, because I don't know if cider has to have, like, a certain amount of, like, apple in it or whatever, because, like I mentioned before, there is, like, you know, cider made from pears is not called cider, it's called perry, so there are rules and standards. Not that I have any, but, you know, I try to follow them sometimes. Keyword, sometimes. So we'll carry this banana, and we will attach more Pikmin to it if we can. It's very cute watching them try to carry this banana. It almost makes me kind of think of fruit flies, though, or like gnats, and I really don't like those. Those make me pretty grumpy. So that should be good. I think that that would be enough fruit. Because there isn't any after this. This is, this is it. And it seems like we might be able to finish this a little early, but not a ton early. It just depends. We're doing our best here, watching all these Pikmin try to carry this cantaloupe. Come on, y'all. We got one job, and then we'll just pl pluck Pikmin while we wait. There isn't anything else to do, so. We're just gonna hang out. Yeah, it's like it goes really quickly from like bronze to gold, and then platinum, I think, is just 
returning the banana, maybe? I don't think there's anything else, but I could be wrong. Let's check the co-pad real quick. I think that's all the fruit there. Oh, there is a... Uh, I don't think we grabbed it. It's the loquat, which is in the cave. Yep. That's the one thing we didn't grab. The humble loquat. Kumquat. Squat. Get your knees below your hips if you want to use good form. Yeah, every, it doesn't really matter. We've already achieved victory here because, as I showed you, it's all dependent on uh, getting the bronze that unlocks the final thing. We're not going to get the platinum ranking, but we will just casually stroll about for the remaining minute of time that we have. Enjoy this. It does bum me out a little bit that they didn't use any of this kind of cool, fun, fanciful music in the uh, in the main game, but whatever. Yeah, we're not gonna get this back in time. It's the thought that counts, right? The gift that keeps on giving. D might please. Sometimes I just like to offer euphemisms when I speak that make no sense, but they sound good if you put them in conjunction with each other. You'll be thinking like, oh, that doesn't fit. But it kind of makes sense in relation to another one. That's what I'm doing. That, that's quality commentary right there. You're welcome. Okay, so that's success. We'll take it. We got all but the... Which we could have gotten. I just wasn't paying attention. All but the loquat. Oh yeah, the cantaloupe and the, and the dragon fruit. Those ones definitely... That's your winner right there. Okay. So we've unlocked mission nine. We have two more to do. We got a good harvest of giant fruits today. At last, we still haven't found the ship part sitting that signal. I should go consult with Brittany, that copite botanist, to see if she can shed any light on the part signal coming from the fruit. Actually, I'd love to see all three of the copite scientists and discuss the wonders of this planet more. Maybe once I finish this assignment, Captain Olimar. I mean, you could have seen him if you wouldn't have gotten captured over and over again by the plasm wraith, you ding dong. It's your fault. They had to come and bail you out. All right, here we go, carry the part. I won't lie to you, this will be difficult and you have to take down more tough creatures than you were probably hoping for. Here at Hokitate Freight, we believe in doing more with less, so get it done without making any more Pikmin. Oh, great. So maybe this is going to be just giving me the default amount and I'm not going to be able to actually propagate any more Pikmin to help myself. Followed the signals into a cave where I found the Kronos Reactor. It's hideously filthy, but just like me, but unfortunately intact. This is just the thing I need to return to Hokitate piloting the company ship. It's an open question how it came to be so far below the ground. But I can't worry about that now. My purdy has to be getting it back to the surface. Okay. So we have a little bit less time here. And it looks like we're looking for a silver medal. But I will gladly take a bronze because... That's just the kind of guy I am. Alright. So we need to have this come with us. And I don't know... Okay. So we have some rock Pikmin. We have some red Pikmin. We're gonna need some yellow Pikmin, so I'm assuming we can sacrifice some of our reds. It's kind of a bummer. We'll sacrifice Louie instead. And one more red should give us the yellows. Let's do five yellows, unless it wants me to get rid of all of my reds, but I don't entirely know that. Send our rocks in there. Maybe it, maybe that's the intention. I don't know why it, would, why it does it like that, but who am I to judge? I do like the ability, though, that you have in this game where you're, like, expected to kind of, like, subdivide your Pikmin and, you know, you just kind of use them to solve your puzzles and whatnot. That's kind of fun, right? That's good game design. See? Hey. All right. Now you guys can't say that I never praised this game. Because I did. A little bit. Just not a ton. Because I'm salty sometimes. Like a gosh dang saltine cracker. But yeah. So one of the things to be mindful of is you're going to want to carry this. Oh, they're just going right underneath the... Right underneath the spider. That's interesting. The arachnoid. Say no to arachnoids, kids. Rock Pikmin just don't care. Like, nope, we're just going to build this bridge and we do not care what you think about it, arachnoid. Bring the yellows back here in a moment and see if I can take the arachnoid down. I want to be quick to whistle them back. It should be enough to do it. Yes. But we don't get any more Pikmin, I don't think. So. Oh, yep. 
This is just like we must be in the uh, formidable oak area because they're just turning into goo now. Do you have enough to build this bridge? Oh, one less Pikmin. Nope, get that rock Pikmin. Do your heckin' job. This music kind of makes me think of like uh, like Wind Waker, like the the title screen of Wind Waker. So we have to finish building this bridge. They're gonna have to bring it around town. Go up and around that slope. Yellow Pikmin, Rock Pikmin just being the laziest. Guys, we have a ship part to deliver. Hello. And just to show you what true leadership is like, I'll throw Louie down here to get stuck and to be much less useful than he was previously. Yeah, I don't remember this being a part of the rest of, like, what level this is from, but I don't know. Never quite seen it before. So we will have... No, no, no. Stop it. Whistle your guys off of the pass. We'll use mainly reds to carry the reactor. Quade, start the reactor. I think the reds are just kind of the least useful in terms of utility. But then again, I don't know if there's going to be more yellow gates or not. But we are, of course, being timed. So we'll use our time wisely, hopefully. That would be a first for this channel. All right, so we're crossing the bridge with our remaining Pikmin. And that's not good, he says. It appears the onion didn't make it here. Oh. Great. So, yeah, we have to be careful here, it appears, because we don't have any alternatives to gain more Pikmin. So we will just have to... We'll just have to do our best with what we have and not let our Pikmin get chomped. That would be detrimental. Where are you guys going? Hello, 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 no, 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 no. We can't have the amp rats killing us already. That'd be bad. I don't think we need any more rock Pikmin. We just have to be mindful of the Pikmin we do have. We'll send the reds and the, and the rocks to sort this out. We'll use our yellows to clear a path here. It looked like the, the red Pikmin were... <laughs> Calm down, Louie. It looked like the red Pikmin were um, trying to carry the, the ship part past the Amp Rat. So it makes me think that this must be the way to go or else the game wouldn't have just like sent it this way. Maybe it would have, I don't know. Okay, that's one Amp Rat down. We'll take down the other one. Sometimes, you know, it's, it's a habit for me that I really love to Come on, just... No, no, don't... Ugh, kill two of my yellows. I don't love um, not being able to charge stuff. As you guys have seen me when I play, it is absolutely an obsession. But... It's going to be the name of my new cologne. Charging Obsession by D-Mike. Okay. I don't know if there's any reason to come in here or not, but I'm going to do it because it's fun. Get him. I don't know why I didn't charge my yellows, but... Oh, we need bomb rocks, I see. Did we get bomb racks? Bomb... I see. I can't even talk. Where's my bomb racks at? And I don't know what accent that's even supposed to be, so I probably just offended, like... Literally, like, tens of people right now. Are there any other bomb rocks in here? I saw the one. Okay, I don't. There's no ground buttholes to get any either, so that's fun. I'm wondering if that's kind of part of the dynamic here, and that's why they give you the the rock candy pop buds because you'll need them when you lose your normal Pikmin. So Reds can do that. I can have the the rocks charge, but they're just gonna have to hang out here for a moment. Yeah, this is just part of the this is just the formidable oak where we had to. Constantly dodge around the uh, the stupid plasm ray goo. There's more Pikmin up there, and we're gonna be halted here for a moment. I just need my Pikmin to stop doing this because they will accidentally die if I get them all up against that wall. That would be embarrassing. That may or may not have happened on a test recording. 
Who knows? I'll never tell. We should be able to get the rest of the bomb racks here. And we can blow up that, that wall. This is all blind though, by the way. Unless it shows that it's not where I've done like one, you know, play recording or something like that. But this is, you know, initially blind. We'll say that. Okay, Pikmin, if you could go ahead and hurry up, get out of there, get the H out of there. Okay, awesome. Yeah, what's annoying is that with these bomb rocks, if you don't scoop them up in time, they'll just disappear. Which I think could, like, soft lock your run, and you'll have to redo the day. Not a huge deal, but obviously, like, annoying. Oh boy, get out of there. That would have been really bad if that would have rolled back down the hill and just murdered all my Pikmin. If I get away with two, yes. Get away with two of that, I can kill this stupid jerk right here. Come here, you, you big lip ninny. Please. Oh, I didn't kill him all the way. Holy crap, these things have a ton of HP. Oh, he's mad. Oh, he is mad. Well, you can be mad. And you know what you're gonna do when you're gonna be mad? You're gonna get... What the heck, my Pikmin art? Do some damage. Okay. Thank you. That didn't really go that well, but whatever. It turns into goo, and we progress. We'll grab this bomb rock here. And we'll continue our path. Looks like there's a bigger need for bomb rocks still as we progress. And this just kind of feels like a uh, like a very minor version of trying to play through the formidable oak. Oh, they're going this way. Okay, well, hopefully these bomb rocks are worth it. Because if not, I'm wasting my time. So we'll try to keep going. I don't know what dangers lie ahead. Oh, there's a whip tumble board. Ooh, well, I do have bomb rock though. How about this? Please explode. Yes. How's that feel, sucker? This is a big one too. How about this? Yeah, eat that. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't know that would happen. <laughs> well, that's your just desserts, huh? All right. So. Oh, and I think I screwed myself because I didn't get the remaining bomb rocks. Unless I can get some here. As we know, rock pikmin are pretty good at digging. Digging a hole, digging a hole, digging a hole, digging a hole. All right. So I don't know if they actually need to do that or not. What I'm actually looking for are the bomb rocks that hopefully will be popped out of this. This game really seems to favor bomb rocks at the end of uh, this area. I don't, I don't feel like the uh, tearing down that electric wall was necessary. And see, rock Pikmin will just go for the bomb rocks, right? But like, why didn't the yellow Pikmin? Get a bunch of wieners. Okay. So anyway, we've got three minutes left. We will charge the reg pigmen. Should be hopefully enough. Oh, stay. No. New. No. That would have been bad, wouldn't it? This is what I get for trying to multitask. All right. Now it seems like it should be safe. Charge the red pigmen. And we will continue A. The pod is close. Okay. Here we go. If you remember, this is just the, the entryway to the Formidable Oak. We're heading actually back to where the Drake was. I feel like Captain Almar should have like PTSD from this. All right, so we need to break open the candy shell. Call our Pikmin back, nope. And remember, rock Pikmin can't be crushed, so they'll just be buried in the ground. We whistle all the Pikmin by it. Oh. Okay, well that's annoying. We're running out of rock Pikmin actually. Oh, we still gotta break open its shell. Alright, so we got a little bit left. Should be able to kill it soon. Stop killing my Pikmin. Oh my gosh, this was a bunch. I did. That was not very cash money. I don't know where my Pikmin are. They're supposed to be carrying the part. Oh, <laughs> I ran out of them. Okay. This is going to take me longer just because I'm running out of Pikmin to actually do what I need them to. Hopefully they can tear down this wall in time. There's 10 of you. No excuses. Let's go. Okay. I actually tore that wall down faster than I thought they were going to. We'll take it. 
All right. That looks like that's the, uh, the end of the line for this one. Okay. Taking it back to the pod. Recovering the part. Mission complete, everybody, with time to spare. Bronze medal is actually... Um, it shows that we're incredible. Bronze stands for very good. All right, and the final stage has been unlocked. Excuse me. We obtained the Kronos Reactor. We've got another part in better yet. The radar has picked up a few more. The last few parts are clustered in one of the surrounding regions, but we're having trouble pinpointing their locations. My guess is that the local wildlife swallowed the parts out of curiosity, which explains why we've seen no sign of them. Giving them back will be tough, but that is the job. That's right. Okay, so we've got the final mission, day 10. We're gonna collect some ship parts and restore the dolphin to ship shape, if you know what I'm saying. All right, so we'll see what's ahead of us, but we've got to make haste here. All right, so first things first, we're going to want to get all the, um, all the rock picking that we can. You'll see why in a moment. I have a f just a feeling in my bones. They wouldn't put these here if it wasn't for good reason. So we will acquire the Rock Pikmin. Transform as many of our reds as we need to. The reds are kind of the least useful. I mean, I guess maybe the, the blues would be equally least useful. We'll see. But that's okay. All right. So now that we have a full squad of transformed Pikmins, this is just the formidable oak on the outside. So, we'll head down the winding shaft, make our way down to the base. And it's interesting, they still kind of keep like the little, uh, the wind sound effect. Now what's nice is that, if you remember, those, um, the, um, the, whatever it is, I, I don't know the, prop, the proper name of the, of this guy here with the candy shell, but he gets mad. And when he gets mad, he has a potential to jump on stuff. And when he jumps on stuff, he, uh, he crushes it. So it doesn't look like he wants to help us out right now, but that's okay. That's okay. Ooh, nope, 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 nope. Don't you do it. Ooh, just slow and steady wins the race this one. Everything turns into goo, which is kind of weird. But it is the formidable oak where I think there's like some sort of like magic presence or something here. Thankfully, killing the, uh, the slug is pretty simple. And last but not least, so we will whistle our Pikmin back and not be too aggressive. Thankfully, it just goes right back to taking its nap, so it must not be too bothered by us as we continue to throw rock Pikmin at it. So we will whistle them back one more time and wait for it to. I think it's place back. Maybe it doesn't want to snooze. Maybe it's maybe we have ruined its circadian cycle, and it is it's grumpy. So in that case, we'll just go ahead and keep knocking the. All right, the candy coating is gone. The anger has happened. Nope, don't kill my Pikmin, please. Ew, it's like ew, its eyes. Ew, its eyes gooey. Did you guys see that? Its eyes gooey. Alright, so that's where one of the shit parts is. I will have my red Pikmin carry that back. They will take it back to the pod or whatever it is. It's not the Drake. <laughs> that's gross. And we will have Olimar come down here with the rock Pikmin first. Because boy, do I have a surprise for you guys. Oh look, it's a, it's a long legs fight. Oh look, it's a double long legs fight. Who thought this was fun? 
So once again, the Rock Pikmin are going to be your way to go with the Shaggy Long Legs. The regular Long Legs, not so much. The regular Long Legs is a little bit too quick, so the Rock Pikmin won't have as good of a time trying to, I guess, give it a, uh, a tram. Same kind of principle as before, where you're attacking the feet and doing so will let them crawl up its nasty legs and knock the hair off of its knuckles, kneecaps, whatever those are. I don't know. It's all nasty to me. But yeah, you're not going to have a ton, of, a ton of luck with the remaining types of Pikmin. It will crush your Pikmin, unfortunately. So it looks like this is the last leg. So hopefully we can have it. All right, so it looks like they took the one part back, which is great. I don't know which leg is left over as being the one that's got crap on it. can't see, but it looks like it's going to hopefully stay in the arena. So just keep scooping up your rock, Pikmin. Charging the legs. Once all the hair is off the legs. Oh, it's the top... Top right and the top left, it looks like. Well, from where I was. Usually your Pikmin will just keep going at it until they get it, but... As smart as I know rock Pikmin are, I don't trust them too much. That's the one downside, though, to this fight is you can't really see kind of hard to tell what you're doing. I'm trying to see where that last hairy bit is. It's such a... Like, the, the POV of this is, like, very tight, and I can't really see exactly what I'm doing. So, yeah, definitely focus on the Shaggy Long Legs first. Shaggy Long Legs is more troublesome. Okay, there we go. So, it's... it's bulbous sack is exposed. Nope, nope, nope. Wrong one. <laughs> wrong one, guys. Wrong one. We'll focus on the now significantly less shaggy long legs, just long legs. When they attack the bulb, they should be able to do a pretty good amount of damage, and one more go might take it out. Yeah, this fight's a lot easier to do once you know what you're doing. It's a little intimidating at first because you're just given the... Ugh, no, Rock Pikmin. Ugh, what would a final episode be without some uh, adversity? It's a lot easier to do this when the game actually cooperates. The one thing that's really frustrating is that you can't really lock onto the legs. Throwing your Rock Pikmin isn't going to do much for you, so... Ugh. One more cycle, come on game, just throw me a bone, please. And then, if the Pikmin get bored, they're gonna try to go for the other long legs, which is annoying. I don't know why they thought this as a final boss was fun, it is not. Come on, almost there, almost there. Really? Really? I've got some really brave, <laughs> some really brave Pikmin that are just trying to hang in there. They're all trapped under its foot. <laughs> Get off of me, you joik! All right, it's dead. It's not dead. Okay, just kidding. This is a uh, war of attrition. We'll say that. This is a war of attrition in a game about nutrition. All right, so. We will have the Rock Pikmin carry this part away because there's not really much for them to do. It was tough. The actual Pikmin that we need left, and the reason why I wasn't going to convert them, are the yellow Pikmin. So Olimar will hang out for a moment. We'll have Louie bring the yellows. The yellows are pretty much the only ones that can reach the bulb. The really... The sa oh, guys, no, 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 no. We have a mission to do. Oh, this is horrible. Please just let me have this. Just, uh. This is why we can't have nice things. Come on, just go away. I don't even know where the other ones are. Where are my rock pick when they got smooshed? Oh, there they are. Are they over there? I don't think I can kill them. Unless it can and then I'm just a ding dong. Well, whatever. We'll just very quickly try to get the ship part up the ramp as long as I can get it out of the way hurry please okay so we're safe now we have yellow Pikmin we'll use Olimar's bait I think the the this long legs 
Okay, no, it does. It just wants to aggro on. Uh, this one, you just have to throw your yellow Pikmin up on the bull because no other Pikmin will reach. I just lost a bunch. That's great. So you don't have, really have a choice. You just have to keep kind of hammering away. Hopefully you have enough and it doesn't crush all of them. All right, yellow Pikmin, hang in there. We're almost done. It's substantially harder if you uh, don't keep moving. Stay away from its legs. Come on, yellows. We're doing okay. You just have to kind of move with it when it moves. When I move, you move just like that. All right, so we're gonna keep throwing our yellows. We're gonna try to stay underneath the bottom of the sack. The under sack. The grundle is the safest location. As you fight this, it's almost dead too. There's not a ton of HP, thankfully. That should do it. All right, so we have to hurry now and take the ship part back. The other Pikmin should be, oh my gosh, we don't have enough, there we go. The other part just got taken back, so now it's just a matter of this one. I'm trying to squeeze along our Pikmin and see if I can gather any more up to help. The blues are around. And that's the, that's triumphant music of success. Somehow, I'm not entirely convinced this is real because of how poorly I've been playing, but you know. So we've got three minutes to take this ship part back. We should be okay. I think the reds and the rocks should be at the pod. And we can put a bow on this one. Yes. So there they are. There's a couple yellows that I should have used for the fight, but I didn't because I'm a ding dong. And then once this part gets up here, ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap. That is a chicken Caesar wrap. One of my favorites. I can hear them. If you hear me before you see me, I got shit parts in my trunk. Okay. So we win! Mission complete. Guys, we beat the game 100%, sort of. Minus all the data files I forgot, but nobody's counting. All right, so let's see what, uh, Let's see what the final to do is. That's right. So all the other missions that I screwed up. I got the working overtime badge for the bronze medal. We earned five platinum medals at least because we're epic. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. Captain Olimar never one to hesitate to throw shade on Louie. But yeah, the, uh, the Hokotate boys are heading home. The dolphin is back once again. Oh, the Pikmin are going to say goodbye another time. As the frame rate absolutely chugs. That is not, that is not good. Yeah, the Switch for as charming and as interesting as it is, it definitely chugs sometimes. We will say that. It has a little bit of a little bit of problems. What is this song? Was that English? Okay, I'm assuming that's like Japanese or something. Pikmin are singing along with whoever this this artist is, unless she's just like scatting in Japanese. I don't know. Okay. So this is very necessary as we abandon the Pikmin again until Pikmin 4. Looks like the dolphin's doing okay. That, sh that ship seems awfully small for these two, but maybe they're just that efficient. As they head back to Hokotate to please their capitalist overlord. And that, ladies and gentlemen, with little, like, this is just how it ends. Um, yeah. So, we will, uh, we'll back out of this and we'll return to the title screen. Um, so yeah, this is the final episode. This is it. Uh, 
thanks for watching everybody this has been awesome i had a really great time playing this and uh yeah i've never actually beaten it all the way so now that i have the chance to do that 100 percent pikmin 3 deluxe hopefully you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching liking commenting all those things and uh yeah stay tuned for a new series starting next week of a brand new game so i look forward to seeing you all that i've been d mike this has been pikmin 3 deluxe i'll see you next time bye